there is a tradition this time of year. Uh, you got to feast your eyes on an edible display that is taking up the lobby of a hotel in Rochester. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us how a gingerbread train will help people in need. This sweet treat over here is for your eyes and for your nose. We're talking about an edible train. It's one of the biggest aromatic things you're ever going to experience. You'll want to chew chew on this gingerbread train. It sits in the lobby of the Royal Park Hotel in Rochester. The Salvation Army of Metro Detroit has been teaming up with the hotel since 2009 to raise funds to help folks in our area. Over the years, they've raised more than $55,000. That we can buy some clothes for those that, you know, would otherwise go cold in this in these winter months. Our own Jennifer Ann Wilson helped kick off the debut. You'll notice some other familiar characters. This year, visitors checking out the train can donate by purchasing a $10 or $25 mitten to place on lobby trees. And for every dessert purchased at the restaurant, one dollar goes to the organization. Reward yourself for helping the Salvation Army help others. How can you resist beignets, caramel chocolate mousse cake, and the pumpkin cheesecake? If you're wondering what the train tastes like, you can get actual flavor. Is right there in the crust. Executive pastry chef Mark Slesser has been working on the edible display for a couple of months. If you're wondering what it takes to make this, Try 200 pounds of gingerbread mix and 50 pounds of sugar and 50 pounds of candy, just to name a few ingredients. It's just really a great way to bring in the spirit, raise a little money for the Salvation Army, and help out. And you have until the beginning of January to check out these sweet treats. In Rochester, Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All the kids are